Today's vlog. Today we are getting right back onto pure saxophone vlog today. It's a saxophone lesson for you, so if you like this, please do hit a like, hit the subscribe button if you don't already. Talking about basically a very simple exercise that you can use, similar to those that you can find in my Nail Your Scales ebook, where there are a number of different scale exercises, but I don't deal with pentatonics in this book but I deal with the exercise in this book and talk about it within the context of practicing modes. And what we're gonna do is look on the modes of the pentatonic scale. So first of all, if we take, if I move back a little bit so I don't wreck my saxophone, um, we take a basic C major pentatonic scale. <laughs> One, two, three, five, six. If any major scale gives you the major pentatonic scale. Let's take it in F. What I played for you just before, the way you can get a melody out of this, well, there's thousands of melodies on the pentatonic scale, but the one that always sticks in the mind is the opening of, in, uh, in a sentimental mood, that's what I was looking for. But those opening notes, that's the pentatonic scale, then you hit the ninth, the A. Okay, but what I want to do today, go back to the C1 and play them off each mode of the scale. So first of all, I'm gonna play what I just played for you before, pentatonic reposition, C, D, E, G, A. But if I take that same scale and start on a D, I get a different sounding pentatonic scale. It's still the C minor pentatonic, sorry, it's still the C major pentatonic scale, but it's starting now on D, okay? And now off, off the E. Okay, now off the G, still the C pentatonic scale. And now off the six. Which gives me the A minor pentatonic scale. Suddenly, for two amongst many things that come off that. So, this, you can see how useful it is to be able to play it. That's one way of playing it, and one way of doing modes where you basically, it's a bit like on the piano, playing all the white notes for each different mode as you go along. Okay, but now what we need to do is to play each mode off C. Okay, so stay with me here. So, first off, I have C major pentatonic scale. Let me turn my phone off before I start getting loads of WhatsApp messages. <laughs> Okay, so that's the one I've just played with you before. But now if I play the B flat major pentatonic scale, but starting on the C. Now the A flat pentatonic scale starting on the C. And now the F pentatonic scale starting on the C. Okay, and now the what was that? E flat. Pentatonic major E flat major pentatonic scale starting on the C, which gives me the C minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so you can see how useful it is in blues. Okay, in that um, some of you have heard me play it before. That welcome blues, that uh, Joel Fram one. it comes through in there, which is why it's so useful to practice it, why it's so there. One of the things you'll often find though is jazzers will just tend to use a little bit of the pentatonic scale. So um, 
say taking one, two, three, five, Giant Steps is a prime example of that, but you know, loads of other things. I was just running some stuff. I remember Ray Wilkes talking to me about how important it was to be able to play those sort of four note cells, the one, two, three, five, over different bits on St. Thomas, say for example. So if I take those um, one, two, three, fives and transpose them over C. <laughs> But then you can take them into different keys as well. So you could take a chord progression and just play the one, two, three, five, you know, of that fragment of the pentatonic scale, and suddenly you start to get through it. And I remember when I was doing my uh, recital years ago now, gosh, 14 years ago, and uh, working on giant steps. One of the things my teacher Tony Woods had me do was to take um, this four note cell into as many different keys as possible. And in the scale book, I do take you through that as a Chris Potter exercise. I mean, it's down as Chris Potter because Chris Potter who first highlighted it to me, but since I've found that lots and lots and lots of people uh, talk about these different ideas of how to take those four note cells. So to recap today's little vlog lesson, as it were, is take any pentatonic scale, you know, you can then play the different modes off that particular pentatonic scale, but then try taking each root, so it's like I did with C, and then try playing a different mode of a pentatonic scale off that root. So what I did there was, as I said, I started on C pentatonic, then it was B flat pentatonic, but starting on C, then A flat pentatonic, but starting on C. And it really tests your knowledge of your pentatonic scales, how well you know them. And if you're not there with it, and I suspect a number of us are not there with it yet, what you need to do is to go back with the scale book and run your major scales, run your pentatonic scales until you're really confident with them. Because I find this when I'm teaching people modes, that if you're not totally confident in every key, I mentioned it as something when somebody asked me, could we not just learn everything in six keys? If you're not confident in every key, it makes a huge difference to whether you can do this transposition stuff. And the problem is the music's going past so quickly, you ain't got time to think about it. Constantly amazed at how much I can get into the back of a Honda Civic. Um, for second hand dining room chairs on the way. Love Facebook Marketplace, it's been great for equipping uh, my new house with lots and lots of different things. So, nice new chairs. Now I need to get the grass cut before it starts to rain. My friend has just phoned me from Cambridge and told me that it's now raining there, so can I get the grass cut before it starts to rain here? A year ago this week, I launched my 2019-2020 practice planner. Wasn't quite in the way I wanted it to, given personal circumstances, but we got it out there. There are still some paper copies left. If you want a paper copy, I will pop a link later this week when I launch the 2020-21 copy, which is going to be an ebook, digital only. I'm not doing the prints because it costs so much money to send them everywhere, but I will send some out if you want a paper version of it at a reduced rate because the dates will be slightly off. But the, the kind of the format still remains the same. You have three goals each month. Perhaps your goal might be to get these pentatonic scales down. You might be to learn all your pentatonics in all 12 keys. Then it'll be to learn the modes of the pentatonics in all 12 keys. Then it'll be to apply the pentatonics. Maybe learn Sunny Moon for two in all 12 keys. So you've got that minor pentatonic. Then can you improvise around that? That's a really good way to master those pentatonics in September. Along that, you cross off each day that you practice. The idea is over three or four months, or say, you know, maybe six months, definitely within six months, you'll have an idea what you normally practice 
that it's like during a normal time. I know for me, and I've just been thinking about it, I'm very tempted to go back and do what I did in that vlog, which is to go back and get one of those wall planners, academic wall planner, and start crossing the days off. Because with lockdown and everything else that happens, I have not really practiced anywhere near as much. And as I'm starting to practice a little bit more as we start to emerge from this, I'm noticing that, ah, oh, man, things are not quite there. Things are not where they should be. Things aren't where they were. But, you know, that's life. You know, things have got to move around. But stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribing. As soon as the new ones of these are ready, I will get them out. But if you want a reduced rate one, there's a clip, there's a link below, and I will uh, reduce the rate for those now. Just obviously, I can't reduce the rate for the shipping because that's what it is. It is what they charge me. But I will reduce the rate of that if you would like a... 2019, 2020, there are limited uh, versions of that available. But again, I'll talk about that later in the week and I'm bringing out a new 2020, 2021 one as an ebook. And tomorrow, Monday, 24th of August, I will be doing a very special masterclass with Sios Mouthpieces. Make sure you head to their Facebook page and give it a like uh, so that you know about that. 5 p.m. London time, 6 p.m. in Europe, Paris particularly for those guys, or 12 p.m. in New York. It'll be great to see some of you guys there. Thank you very much for watching today's vlog. It's great to be back doing some saxophone vlogs, and I will see you really, really soon. Goodbye.